snake head. Not what I want, but it's welcome. Alright, I'm gonna give you an update of this situation right here. So, there were two anglers all the way at the back over there and a cameraman. I think they were filming a fishing video like I am right now. But, out of nowhere, there was this giant otter that came swimming past this whole bank right here and went right past me. And I think that pretty much scared all the fish. Peacock bass, giant snakehead, anything. It's probably spooked right now. So yeah, hopefully the fish will come back in maybe 20, 30 minutes. Um, I just caught that first small snakehead, but that's about it for now. Oh, there's a swirl right there. Okay, so I guess the fish are coming back, but the two anglers and the camera crew, not the camera crew, the cameraman has left probably because of the otter and they knew that they wouldn't catch anything if the otter just swam past all this area but they've left now and just saw a swirl so I guess the fish could be back uh, the water is pretty murky lots of weeds and whatnot so I'm gonna try to change to a bladed bait setup see how that goes it's still 8.30 in the morning so I have plenty of time before it gets really hot out here. On first cast, a single hook, please don't pull. I'll swing it. Oh. Yes! First fish of the day. Yes! Put up a pretty good fight. That is nice. On this bladed minnow. Those are some nice colors. Pretty healthy looking too. All right. I'll get. I'll grab a couple pictures and then continue fishing. That's a nice fish. That's the fish. Not a bad size. Very pretty. Release him now, or her. Okay. I'm gonna fall on this. Ugh. Okay, goodbye. Super nice in there. Oh, there he goes. Phew! First cast after the otter. And those two anglers are gone. Yes! Perfect. So I'm just gonna clear up now. I mean, I'm, uh, I was expecting not to get any fish anyways because this place is fished really, really often. And yeah, the water conditions are not really ideal for fish here either or for peacock bass to start spawning around here. The other side is not too bad, but this side area you can fish is much smaller as well so that's so good anyways that concludes this fishing trip I'll film more videos when I get back to Japan definitely because right now it's spring and that means the sea bass are moving back up into the rivers and I should be able to catch some see you in Japan